What goes on guys, Sarcasm here, and in my last video I told you guys that if you have any recommendations or suggestions for a game type you want me to make a video on, then you should let me know and I would make a video on it. So, I just want to let you guys know real quick that I didn't just mean that that was only for this video. Um, this could be applied to any of my videos. If you guys ever have a something you want to see me do, any game type or any video in general that you guys want to see from me, then... Feel free to po post it in the comments, and if other people think it's a good idea, or I think it's a good idea, then yeah, I'll definitely make a video on it. But, um, so in the last video, a couple people posted a comment saying they want to see Free For All, because I never posted Free For All on my channel before, and this is my first Free For All game here, so here it is. Final score is 30-3, and 3. pretty good game, I would say. Um, I really like Free For All in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, it's really fast-paced, especially compared to... The other Call of Duty games, I don't know. I, I feel like I haven't been running into that many campers. I mean, of course, you're going to find campers here and there in every single game mode. But, uh, I don't know. Lately, I haven't really been running into that many free-for-all. And it's been a pretty enjoyable experience. So, I'm not the master of free-for-all or anything. It's definitely not my best game type. But, I definitely win the majority of my free-for-all. So, hopefully, tips that I give you will help you become better free-for-all players. Uh, the class I'm rocking, I'm rocking the Scar L with the Silencer. And the Silencer is really important to being successful in Free For All because when you shoot with the unsilenced gun, everyone on the map sees your location. So they'll start running right towards, some people run right towards the red dot. They don't give a shit about anything else. So Silencer is really, really helpful in, in winning Free For All's. Um, rocking Sleight of Hand, pretty self explanatory. And quick draw. Now, I know a lot of people would swear by using assassin in free for alls because there's always UAVs up, but here's the thing say you're in a full lobby of free for all, so it's you and seven other people. One of the guys that you're facing, they get a UAV, that's cool, but they have six other people, not including you, that they're seeing on the radar. So the chances of them seeing and finding and killing you are kind of slim. So I mean, yeah, you can use Assassin, especially if you notice that, like, maybe in the previous game that there was a couple people spamming out the UAVs, like, it's nothing, then, yeah, maybe it's a good idea to slap it on, but for the most part, uh, I wouldn't really recommend it. There's definitely other better second-tier perks for free-for-all if they're not spamming out the UAVs, like I'm using here, Quick Draw. This is giving me the advantage on killing the other people, even when maybe they see me a split second before I see them. Sometimes it just gives me a kill that I normally wouldn't get. But um <laughs> you see me do failing in that Reaper here. I think I only got like three kills. Even though this is a really great map for kill kill streaks and, and air support in general. But um I don't know, they were just all hiding under cover, under the few pieces of cover on this map. So one thing you notice in this game that I'm doing is just staying in one area, moving back and forth and patrolling this one area. Um, I think for the entire game, actually, I don't even go to the other side at all because there's really no reason to. Um, by patrolling one area, I have control of about four or five different spawn points. Uh, I know exactly where they're coming from. I know where to look, and I can be prepared for them before they get a chance to even know where I am. So uh, I'm not camping. You definitely don't want to be camping because then you just you'll get one kill on a guy, then they'll just instantly come back for a revenge kill, and you don't want that. But I'm going to constantly be moving around in one area and controlling that area. So that's pretty much the best tip I can give you guys. And it's pretty much the main thing you want to do in Free For All. Just patrol an area. Control it. Map control is a huge part of it. Like I said, I have control of about four or five different spawn points. And I really can't uh, stress that enough how important that is. So over here, my pave load gets me a couple kills and gets shot down. I pick up a few more kills. The game's wrapping up. I need about three more kills to win the game. Calling Prem Missile. Theater mode makes it look retarded ugly. But <laughs> luckily I get a guy. Um, switch to my secondary. The MP9. This gun is a beast. Screw the FMG9s man. This gun <laughs> is a sick replacement for it. But anyway. The game's over guys. Final score 30-3. and three. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said. Leave me some recommendations for a video in the comments. And thanks for watching. Peace.